Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the Create Points on a Map tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. You'll learn how to create a feature class, add metadata, and add point data to a feature class. You can follow the full written instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. I've started ArcGIS Pro and signed in to my ArcGIS Online account. We'll start by opening the Create Points on a Map project package. Make sure the portal is set to ArcGIS Online and search for Create Points on a Map. Open the one with the authoritative badge. First, let's reset the panes for mapping so that only the contents and catalog panes are open. On the Map tab, click Bookmarks. In the Egmont 3D bookmarks, click View from above to zoom to the park boundary. Next, let's create a feature class to store the park entrance features. In the catalog pane, expand databases and expand the Create Points on a Map geodatabase. The geodatabase already contains one feature class named ENP Boundary. This feature class is the source data for the Egmont National Park layer on the map. Right-click the geodatabase, point to New, and click Feature Class. The Create Feature Class pane has six pages, but not every page needs to be completed. On the Define page, set the name as ENP Entrances, the alias as Park Entrances, and the Feature Class type as Point. Leave the rest of the values as the defaults and click Next. By default, a new Feature Class has only two fields, object ID, and shape. You'll add fields for a feature name and description. On the Fields page, you can click below the existing fields to add a new field. In the Field Name column, change the default value to Name. Double-click the cell next to Alias and replace the default value with Entrance Name. Set the length to 35. Add a field for the description with the following properties and click Next. On the Spatial Reference page, confirm that the coordinate system is the New Zealand Transverse Mercator, which is a common standard in New Zealand. The remaining pages in the wizard can use the default settings for this tutorial, so click Finish to create the feature class. The feature class is now present in the Catalog pane in the GeoDatabase and in the Contents pane. Before we add features to the feature class, let's add some metadata. In the Catalog pane, Right-click the ENP Entrances feature class and click Edit Metadata. Change the title to Egmont National Park Entrances and add tags and a summary. Once you add the summary, the item description element is marked valid because the required information has been filled out, but we'll add a description as well. On the Metadata tab, click Save and close the metadata view. Next, we'll symbolize the Park Entrances layer. In the Contents pane, right-click Park Entrances and click Symbology. The primary symbology is set to Single Symbol, which means that all features in the layer will have the same symbol. Click the Point symbol and make sure the Gallery tab is selected. Click the All Styles drop-down arrow and click Project Styles. Search for Cone and select the Standing Cone. Click the Properties tab and make sure the Symbol tab is selected. Click the Color drop-down arrow and pick a bright color such as Barrel Green. Change the symbol size to 8 points and click Apply. Nothing will appear on the map because we haven't added any features yet. At the top of the Contents pane, click the List by Editing tab. An exclamation point next to a layer means that type of layer isn't editable. Under 2D Layers, uncheck the Egmont National Park checkbox. Now this layer can't be edited until the box is checked again. This will prevent us from accidentally editing the wrong layer when creating our features. In the Contents pane, switch back to the List by Drawing Order tab. On the Edit tab, click Create to open the Create Features pane. Click the Park Entrances template. The Point tool is selected by default. A construction toolbar also appears on the 3D scene to help you create and edit features but you won't use it for this tutorial. Click the Open the Active Template pane arrow to set the default attribute values for new features. 
Each feature will have a different name, so you won't set a default entrance name value. However, each feature will have the same description. Click the null value next to description, type park entrance, and press the enter key. There are three road base entries to the park. Let's start by creating a point feature to represent the Egmont road entrance. Confirm that the Egmont 3D scene is the active view and hover over the scene. The pointer changes to a precision pointer with a symbol attached to it. If you click in the scene, you'll create a point feature wherever you click. On the map tab, click bookmarks and click Egmont Road to zoom to the first park entrance. Press and hold the C key on the keyboard so you can pan the map without adding a point feature. Pan and zoom to the area where the road enters the park, release the C key if necessary, and click the road at the entrance to the park. Now let's add an attribute value for the name of the entrance. On the map tab, click Attributes. In the Attributes pane, click the null value next to the entrance name, type Egmont Road, and press the Enter key. The description has already been added as specified by the feature template we made earlier. Click Apply and click the Geometry tab to view the feature's X, Y, and Z values. Switch back to the Attributes tab. Go to the Pembroke Road bookmark and follow the same steps as before to create the second park entrance feature and set the name in the Attributes pane. Repeat the same steps with the Manaya Road entrance. Now that we have features for all three park entrances, we need to save our edits. On the Edit tab, click Save and click Yes on the Save Edits prompt. Clear the selection. In the Contents pane, Right-click the Park Entrances layer and open the Attribute table to see the three features you created. Close the table and go to the View from Above bookmark. You can see the three points you added earlier. Any layer can be displayed in either a 2D map or a 3D scene. Let's copy the Park Entrances layer from the 3D Egmont scene into the 2D Egmont map. In the Contents pane, right-click Park Entrances and click Copy. Make the Egmont map view active. Right-click the map name and click Paste. For more detailed steps, follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation, linked in the description for this video.